It is an incredible overstatement to declare that Bill Clinton is the subject of an investigation, which he is not. Okay, uh, so this was not contact with Hillary Clinton. And to characterize the two of them happening to be in Phoenix and Bill Clinton deciding, completely inappropriately, by the way, to make small talk mm -hmm. with the Attorney General as a meeting, uh, I think is a gross overcharacterization of what happened in Phoenix. But I think it's typical of the partisan response to everything that has to do with the Clintons because partly we're in the middle of a hotly contested presidential race. Bill Clinton is not the subject of any investigation by the Attorney General, by the FBI. Bill Clinton is not the subject of it. So calling so, him that is just grossly factually wrong. And by the way, having somebody that formerly was in government categorically state on the radio that the Russians and the Chinese have everything in the server is not credible because that is not an investigative agent of the United States government saying that. That's a partisan former member of an administration on a show on the radio. He can say whatever he wants. So I think that we need to be careful about overstating um, because then you're also setting up an expectation among conservatives who listen to you, Hugh, that there is going to be this grand criminal investigation and Hillary Clinton is going is on her way to prison from what you've characterized it. It isn't going to Joy, happen. And then I, what, how are you going to explain that? Joy, perhaps I misspoke, but I think you misheard. I said that the attorney general ought not to have met with the relative of a subject of the investigation. Although it is possible that Bill Clinton is indeed the subject of the investigation because of the Clinton Foundation but, but now, finances. But where do you have the evidence of that? Should, do you have evidence that Bill Clinton but, is the subject what, of an investigation? But we know that Hillary general? Clinton this is. is and, and what I, what I said thought I said, and perhaps I misspoke, is that the Attorney General ought not to have met with the spouse or a relative of the subject of an investigation. Run into That's the in an airport. I ought not to have run into it randomly in an airport. Matter. That's not a meeting. You're characterizing it Ever. as a meeting as if you, you don't do it. with her. Hugh, it, you, it you is, just don't do it. Hugh, it was suggested earlier um, on our network last night that had Bill Clinton given but five minutes of thought before making this uh, impromptu hello, that he wouldn't have done it. He would have thought, oh, yeah, maybe the optics of this aren't good and I shouldn't have done it. Do you know him well enough to know that, that he is the kind of guy who he's social and, as everyone says lately, he'll talk to anybody, and that was maybe what was behind it? Or you have the mindset that there was some undercurrent he was trying to subliminally influence in some very, you know, no, collegial way? I don't think anything happened. I don't think a thing happened. So I think they talked about their grandparents. About it? Because there is a, a rule about prosecutors and the appearance of impropriety. Because obviously the best way to put the fix in, the fix in Phoenix is on an encrypted phone, though they, they may not want to use the word encrypted, but prosecutors do not meet with the spouses of subjects of investigations, period. It doesn't happen. When that mistake happens, you go to the judge, you say, I really screwed up, I'm sorry, I'm recusing myself, I'm out of the case. You might be sanctioned by the judge for doing that. You might endanger the entire thing. In fact, she should not have met with someone who's represented by counsel in the Clinton Foundation issue, so it's a massive lapse of judgment by the attorney general and by the former president but what it ought to do is trigger her sealing off from the investigation and I want so, to go back and say something about former mm -hmm. deputy director of the CIA Mike Morrell he's not partisan he served President Obama as deputy director of the CIA and he served with Secretary Clinton and when he confirmed to me that terrible national security hemorrhage that was the server. He wasn't speaking as the partisan, he was speaking as an intelligence but he was professor. Speculating. But he doesn't know. He, do, he doesn't it's called know. He's it's speculating. Called he doesn't know about that. He's speculating it's, about what it, happened with the speculating. server. Uh, Josh, it's called expert testimony. When you're the director of the CIA, no, you know radio, he surveils and what happened. So, he is not so, speculating. So he's a smart he's guy. That doesn't mean he knows testimony. what happened with not the server. Not a smart guy. Not a smart guy. The director of the CIA. They know what happens but to unencrypted servers. He, he, he does not have knowledge. Of security bombshell. All right, you guys work with that. You take it. Go he with it. Testifying then. Go, go with that. He, go with that he does not have knowledge of what happened with this specific. Fine. With, with yeah, this actually, specific Josh, computer server, he's guessing. Directors of CIA's know what happens when the Russians, the Iranians, and the PRC and surveil senior they have members that kind of, of the government. They government. testify in court. They just don't do it and release it on the radar. I, How does he have look, evidence that the Russians and the Chinese hacked into the server? That's pretty. That's a bombshell. Guys, I, he should testify. There's a line in chariots of fire. There's a line in chariots of fire. I can't put in what God left out. I've worked in the intelligence business. People who work in the intelligence business know that when the director of the CIA says something like that, he was acting director and deputy director, they are speaking from the experience of having monitored the adverse hostile agencies, the FSB and others in North Korea, Iran, China, and Russia, what they do routinely. And you don't have to go very far to find experts who will confirm this. I'm just saying the what, reason what, the FBI is going after her is because of what she did.
He, he could say that it is likely that the Russians would have gotten access to some server, but he does not know. He is he is making a guess. Perhaps it is an informed guess. But if that but if that's you know if he knows this, he shouldn't be saying it on your radio show. This should be this would be a, a direct matter for the government to deal with. What he is doing. Josh, is go spitballing. look it up. You can. And, pe but it, and no, people it's, it's speculate not about all that's sorts of things. That's absolutely not. That that is not reflective of the great work that he did bipartisan over 30 years I'm, in the I'm agency. I'm sure he is Every a talented man who served the country well. He's you not omniscient just because he's a talented person who, ser who served the country well. Josh, you can't he, find he's one guessing, intelligence professional. He's guessing, and this is a guess that conservatives Josh, like to jump on. do you on. want to hear the information? Do you want to hear the information from someone who's held the clearances? There isn't any shadow I, of a doubt that that surveillance it's conducted. You probably have never been close to a clearance. I get that. But if you had been, you would know that anyone who's you, held you them don't is shocked me. by this. I'm sorry, I have to. He, no, no, you don't. You, what well, you, you are don't doing is, is, is hugely irresponsible speculation. And, Josh, do you have and, and any you're intelligence background? And then you come here background. and present it as a fact. Do you have any no, intelligence background? No, I do not. Background? But I don't need intelligence background to know that this person is guessing. Uh, I will. I will let the audience judge whether or not someone who has no intelligence background can make a informed statement about you that know, server. I mean, the, the CIA the produced a lot presents. of estimates related to, 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 you know, the in advance of the Iraq war and such. Just because somebody so, has worked in the intelligence apparatus does not mean that they are an omniscient person who is aware of things that they were not even involved in investigating. All right, you guys, listen, I'm going to let Josh have the last word there. Uh, he'll be talking to you in just a little bit um, about why. A few weeks ago, you were comparing Donald Trump um, to a stage four cancer, and now you're writing an endorsement of him. So look forward to that. Enjoy. Thank you very much. You, you've been talking for the last two plus hours. You're probably like, time to take a break. All right, guys, thank you all very much.